for the inward journey, the joy of prayer. Ponder these words from Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me fast. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end. I am still with you. Walter Rauschenbusch wrote, There are many joys in life, but is any of them quite like the joy of prayer? Anyone who has experienced it will always be haunted by homesickness for it. It surpasses other pleasures, not only in degree, but in kind. It does not pall, it does not lash us on with a desire for a satisfaction which always seems just ahead and it always eludes us. It is inexpressibly satisfying while it lasts. Every renewal of it is good. There's always more ahead and yet we are strangely content with what we have. It combines desire and satisfaction, progress and rest. There is a strange sweetness in a real prayer when you are conscious of touching God. So today we pray with Rausch and Bush. We feel our utter need of thee, thou great companion of our souls. Be thou the strength of our weakness, the wisdom of our foolishness, the triumph of our failures, the changeless unity in our changing days. Amen.